did Master Yensid tell you? I'm training to become a Keyblade wielder like you. That's right. No more wait. All right, so yeah. It's time for more Kingdom Hearts. I skipped over that little bistro stuff because it's dumb and I ain't got time for it. But basically, you just run around and collect food for him, and then you go back to the restaurant and you can choose to cook if you want to or you can just leave like I did but anyway let's get back into this thing for you to come back from your adventures I want to get out there and do my part to help Merlin has used his magic to bring us to a place where time doesn't matter we can take as long as we need to complete our training. He's an amazing wizard. Oh, and by us, I mean me and Lee. He's really sorry for all the trouble he caused. I told him it's fine, but he won't stop apologizing. I'll admit I was a little scared of him at first, but I've gotten to know him better. All he ever wanted was to help his friend. Honestly, it's hard not to like him. Every now and then, I catch him staring at me. When I ask what's wrong, he says, I'm not sure. I think I'm forgetting something. Don't know what. Sora, Shion. I think it may have something to do with you. Your journey is all about helping people. Some that you've never met before, and some like Lee that you have. They're all counting on you. Uh -huh. It won't be easy, but I hope you'll remain the happy and cheerful Sora I know. There's no heart your smile can't reach. What's wrong? Huh? Uh, nothing. Sorry. Lee. What? I am. <laughs> A letter? Yep. To Sora? Mm, technically, yes. But I won't send it. It's more for me. Ask Merlin. He'll deliver it for you. Yeah, but it's okay. I just like talking to Sora, even if it's on paper. Oh, okay. Oh. Hmm? Here. Man, come ice on. Cream? Really? How are you just gonna pull yeah, ice cream? I asked Merlin to pick these out of back pocket. You know, I mean, who's gonna want we to did eat both that? summon Keyblades. Gotta celebrate. You're all kinds, sweet, all kinds of butt juicing on it. Up, all <laughs> nah. kinds of butt juice on it and stuff. And you know that junk will not stay like that. It'll be all broken up and melted and junk. What? Come on. No, uh, nothing. I just... I'm just gonna mysteriously you pull to remember ice cream out of the back pocket. Well, I, uh... It yeah. might as well be on your butt. Yeah. So tomorrow, you and me in the ring. You ready? Of course. Don't hold back, Lee. Promise? Oh. Oh. Xion. Told you that's what he would remember. Huh? Are you okay? Lee? Uh, yeah. Sorry. You're crying. What's wrong? Uh, something in my eyes. Lee. I'm gonna go. Sorry. Okay, but stop apologizing. Okay, we got that. Mm. Fine. 
on one condition. Yeah, bye. What? Call me Axel from now on. Got it memorized? Yeah. Okay, Axel. Zodin. So this is the place. Where Aqua fell into the realm of darkness after she dove in to save Terra. Yeah. She said he was acting strange. Strange how exactly? She sensed darkness in him. And they ended up getting into a big fight. Right. And in the aftermath, the two of them disappeared. Around the same time, the guards found a stranger with white hair lying on... For those of you who didn't play the final episode and the secret episode of Birth by Sleep... ...conscious here in the square. A man calling himself Xehanort. Ansem the Wise took the stranger in, but that was a mistake. Xehanort betrayed his master, stole his research, and along with his fellow apprentices, separated his heart from his body. Xehanort's heart took his master's name, Ansem, and traveled to the past to give his younger self instructions. He even briefly had control of you. His empty body stayed in the present, took the name Xemnas, and founded Organization 13. Their goal was to prepare 13 vessels for Xehanort's heart. Until we put an end to the organization. But all the while, young Xehanort had been visiting the future to choose 13 vessels of his own, hearts with strong enough ties to him to begin a new organization, the real Organization 13. And now they're looking for a fight with us. But what happened to Terra? I thought you said that Aqua saved him. Yep, she did. The problem is we didn't notice. You remember the end of the Mark of Mastery exam? When Master Xehanort made his grand return? That's the Xehanort I remember. He was already a pretty old man then. But how do you explain Ansem and Xemnas, his heartless, and his nobody? Isn't it strange how young they look? Why aren't they old men? It's because Xehanort was using a different body when the split happened. That face from the portrait I mentioned? It wasn't Terra. just some stranger that Ansem the Wise took under his wing. It was the young man whose body Master Xehanort possessed. No Terra. way! That was Terra? Master mm -hmm. Xehanort was using Terra? Mm -hmm. Yep. Master Xehanort told us another on our list belonged to him. He was talking about Terra. Turns out, Aqua saved more than just her friend that day. Okay. But Master Xehanort is an old man again now. Where did Terra's body go? Hmm. <gasps> it's because Master Xehanort's collecting vessels. He claimed to have two of our seven lights. We got Sora back, but Terra must still be on Xehanort's side. He's with Organization 13? We should warn Sora. Yup, and Merlin too. Yeah.
toy box. Olympus. Alright, Tanner. Kingdom of Kelowna. What is that? Battle of 14. Toy Story Battle of 12. I'm going over here. Because I already know. I already know what the Toy Story world is like. Go outside. The outside world is a dangerous place. You must stay here where you're safe. Do you understand, Flower? Hmm? Ah, oh, Tangled. I haven't seen this movie, by the way. I need to. Those lights appear every year I'll, on my birthday. Only on my birthday. I think I'll birthday. get the movie on Amazon. And I can't help but feel like they're, point, as of fact. they're meant for me. I need to see them. And not just from my window. In person. I have to know what they are. It sure is a pretty day. <clears throat> yeah, the weather is great. It'd be perfect for a picnic. Why do you think we come here? Got me, Donald. We'll figure it out as we go. <sighs> okay. I'm sure we were brought to this world for some good reason. But can't we sweat it later? Fine with me. I swear that there's no harvest. Just a little information. This is all new to me because I have never, never seen the movie Tangled, so I don't know who that dude, who that dude that's just that's running is, and yeah, I've never. Well, I, I've seen the girl, but I don't know who exactly she is. Unless it's supposed to be Rapunzel or whatever. Heartless! You see? Soon as you mention them, they show up. There goes our picnic. I didn't do it. It's okay. Let's send these guys packing. 
say, since you three seem to know what you're doing, mind if I leave this one to you? Yep. We'll take care of them. Go on, skedaddle! You have my thanks. Whew. The horse was enough. Don't need any monsters on my trail. What? What's enough? Oh, nothing. Nothing. Name's Flynn, Flynn Rider. Oh, watch out! They look mad! Slowly... Slowly... Out of here! Flingo. I think I saw him go that way. Huh? But that away is just a dead end. Yeah, that's puzzling. Well, did he? Hmm. I say we investigate. Flynn, where oh, are you? Um, Flynn? Involving the word investigate. But. Yeah! yeah. This world is very, very pretty. Very nice, very nice. I like it. I like it. See me? No, you don't. Uh, 
I told you to talk this way. Hmm? Well, at least he got away safe. Right? Whoa. Hey! Now Sora's gone, too! This way, guys! It's a secret passage! Oh. How you doing? The name's Flynn Ryder. How's your day going? Huh? Who else knows my location, Flynn Ryder? All right, hang on, Blondie. Rapunzel. Gesundheit. Here's the Rapunzel. deal. I was in a situation gallivanting through the forest when I stumbled upon it. Oh. Oh, no, no. No, 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 no. Where is my satchel? I've hidden it. Somewhere you'll never find it. So, what do you want with my hair? To cut it? Huh? Sell it? No! Wait, you don't want my hair? Why on earth would I want your hair? Look, I was being chased, I saw a tower, I climbed it, okay? End of story. Hmm? Huh? Okay, Lynn Ryder. I'm prepared to offer you a deal. A deal? Look this way. Don't... Do you know what these are? You mean the lantern thing they do for the princess? Lanterns? I knew they weren't stars. Well, tomorrow evening, they will light the night sky with these lanterns. You will act as my guide, take me to these lanterns, and return me home safely. Then, and only then, will I return your satchel to you. That is my deal. Yeah, no can do. Unfortunately, the kingdom and I aren't exactly simpatico at the moment, so I won't be taking you anywhere. Something brought you here, Flynn Rider. Call it what you will, fate, destiny. So I have made the decision to trust you. A horrible decision, really. I am serious. Oh. <clears throat> Let me get this straight. I take you to see the lanterns, bring you back home. Then you give me back my satchel? I promise. And when I promise something, I never, ever break that promise. Ever. Oh, what to do? I cannot let her find that tiara. Okay, just think. I need the satchel, and Blondie has it. There might be more monsters out there. I've got it! The three guys in the funny outfits! They look tough enough to come in handy. All right, fine. I'll take you. But on ah. one condition. My three sidekicks come along. Let's check it out. All right. So after I visit this Moogle shop, I'll end this video here.
I'll pick it back up in the next one. And I guess I just had enough for uh, for a Koopa coin. photo mission. Ooh. Rapunzel's Tower, that should be easy. There's a mailbox in Twilight Town. Let's send this off next wonder who put a tower here. Let's go find out! Why can't I take two? Oh, there we go. God, my contact, man. Hold on. I swear to God, man, my contacts are getting my damn nerves, bro. I hate that junk, man. You sitting there trying to do something, like working something, and then all of a sudden your contacts are inside, man. Shit, bro.
how can she use her own hair as a rope? It's so soft. I'm free. I'm really free. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Flynn, good to see you in one piece. Huh? Guys, you're here and just in time. <laughs> hmm? Oh, who's she? Uh, that would be Rapunzel. Something tells me this could be her first time outdoors. Give her a few minutes to get used to it. First time ever? I can't believe I did this! I can't believe I did this. I can't believe I did this! Mother would be so furious if she knew I disobeyed her and left the tower. But that's okay, I mean, what she doesn't know won't kill her. Right? No. Oh my gosh. This would kill her. This is so fun! I am a horrible daughter. I'm going back. I am never going back! I am a despicable human being. Jay! Ever! I notice you seem a little at war with yourself here. A little more than a little. More that a lot! <laughs> yeah. Stop right there! Who are you? Oh. I told you before, my sidekicks. Sidekicks? May I introduce... Uh... Oh, uh, my name's Sora. <laughs> and I'm Goofy. Pleasure, ma'am. Sora, Donald, and Goofy. It's nice to meet you, too. I'm Rapunzel. Yep, my sidekicks. Hey. Since when is that? Look, she really wants to see the Lantern Show tomorrow night. Now, I'm a nice guy, so I've decided to help her. Only problem is those monsters might show up again. I can get her to the kingdom, but you guys are clearly more cut out for combat. That's huh? why we're heroes! Uh-huh. And uh -huh. we're heartless experts. Yeah, yeah! <laughs> Just leave it to us. Done. Yeah, her heart's pulling her all kinds of ways. The outside world must seem so big and scary. I know how she feels. Lucky for me, you two came along at just the right time. And the rest has been unforgettable. <laughs> uh, yep, unforgettable. Just like your face. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Mal. All for one, and one for all. Look! The flowers are growing on top of the water! you how long I've been waiting for this moment. Rapunzel must be pretty excited if this is really her first time outside the tower. I thought she carried her hair around. Oh, <laughs> 
great smiles. Oh my gosh! Hey, sidekicks. Thanks again for helping me out. Maybe this isn't such a good idea after all. Out of this deal. Oh, what? It's way too scary out here. Let's just turn around and take you home. No, I oh. am seeing those lanterns. Oh, no, oh, come on, <sighs> Rapunzel. It's okay. I'm not afraid to face them. Oh. Be careful, Rapunzel. Yes. I will. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Look, it made a tower. Got him. Oh. 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 Oh, 
Someone? Who's there? She's such a precious gift. Allow me to assist you in getting her back. Oh! seems to be pointing the way to the castle. Wonderful this is. <gasps> Dandelions! <gasps> Look! Oh! <laughs> Watch! that might work but I wish there was a way to make more fly at once if only we had a big gust of wind oh big gust of wind coming up back off let's see 
Where are the most dandelions? Sora, scatter the ones. <sighs> They're just like the floating lights. What's at the top of that hill? I never imagined the forest would be so big. Hope we find some ingredients around here. these rabbits. Something. Let's follow them. The outside world is even better than I dreamed. Where do you think the rabbits went? I think they want That's us to have this. Is. Thank you. Come on, come on, come on. 
like the world goes on forever. Oh, it's so refreshing. You have to come in. Oh. See, it feels nice. Join me! <laughs> Over here! Come join me! <laughs> Over here! Join me! My turn! <laughs> Over here! My turn! My turn! <laughs> Over here! My turn! Yeah. All right, let me go. Huh. Huh. Yeah. Huh. Come over here. Yeah. Come join me. Do we have to go? Alright, so I'll pick this back up in the next one. Peace.